Hey everyone, welcome. I just want to give you a quick little information about what 365 days is. 365 days, 365 plays is a play written by Susan Marie Parks where she decided to write a play an entire day for a year. So we've combined some of the plays that she's wrote there um, in there basically different stages of her life on a different day. And we hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Sometimes alone, 
sometimes together will cover up said mouths. <laughs> All across the country. Maybe even across the whole world. Hey, you know I always wonder about that gesture, don't you? The mouth opens wide. And hands. Hands cover up the mouth. What the hell is that about, huh? God damn it, I want answers. As a human being, I demand answers. You are talking to the TV again. No, I'm not. I heard you. So? So you're talking to the TV again. If I had to murder me somebody, it would be hard to choose. On one hand, I could pick someone nobody would miss. Or someone lots of people would want dead. Like the president on a bad day or some other kind of creep. If I had to murder me somebody, it might just go down like that. If I had to murder me somebody, though, I might pick someone lots of people loved. Like when that asshole shot that really nice guy. <laughs> you remember? And the whole world's like sad for days. And people know his name. The killers for that matter. I wouldn't do it for the notoriety though. Nah. And I'm okay with my volume. I don't have to go no louder. Not for my own self. Wow. I'm standing here ruminating on evil, thinking about murder. You go to that place in your mind, you know. No. You don't know. You ain't been there. It's like saying, hey, you've been to Dallas? You say, yeah. When all you've seen of Dallas is like Fort Worth, or at best, reruns of the TV show. <laughs> but me, I'm in Dallas. Which is to say, I'm entertaining the thought that hurting me somebody is going to make me feel better. Like when you fall in love, or your team wins the Super Bowl. Or, okay, the Stanley Cup, if that's your thing. But hockey, hockey ain't my thing. It fades. The feeling, it fades. Like the feeling I had for this woman, Barbara. It faded. And then, I went and murdered me somebody. I didn't know him at the time. I got to know him later when I saw his life story on TV. His story had a halo around it. But mine, mine had a ring of fire. He was a clerk at a store. And from what I hear, he was a really, really nice guy, too. But like I said, the mood, the mood grabs you. And it's like the mood is doing the murdering, and you're just going along for the ride. And happen to have the knife in your hand. Like my mom. She's always eating. But she's not eating because she's mad, no. But she is. Anyway. I went and murdered me somebody. And now, somebody gotta murder me. I stood here talking, thinking I could explain it. But I didn't. It's not, it's not like I don't got the understanding. Because I have the understanding in my mouth. I just can't put it together in words. Well, peace out. Opportunity is now open. <laughs> Ellipses. Ellipses. Before the creation of the universe, the dawn of time. Ellipses, a 
fish crawls out of the sea. Ellipses. Homo erectus in God's image. Ellipses. Aldivai gorge. Ellipses. <laughs> Hunting. Gathering. <laughs> War! The wheel. More. War. Ellipses. Ellipses, ellipses. Gods, gods, and more gods, ellipses. The rise, the fall. Ellipses, ellipses. Confucius and Buddha, ellipses. Jesus, ellipses. United States version. Mayflower and Indians and slavery. George Washington crossing the Delaware. Ellipses. Civil War. Ellipses. The war to end all wars. All universal events of great significance up to and including present day. The window of opportunity is now closed. No. Sorry. It's not worth sucking your teeth over. Easy for you to say. Think about it this way. You're the one who got away. Maybe next time. Yeah. Get your looks, come on, get your looks, gather around, step right up and see with your very eyes, the good for nothing. Step right up and see, it don't work, it don't reproduce, and it don't even cause trouble. Step right <laughs> up and see, no admission charge, of course, step right up. Holy smokes, it's a good for nothing. Jesus, wow. It's, it's a, a good, good for nothing. <laughs> Oh, wait, I think I've seen this one somewhere before. Perhaps you've seen me around. I've been on tour. Ha! She never leaves town. She stays right here every night, right by my side. Isn't that a right, woman? Yes, dear. <laughs> Shit! Well, I guess that's the end of that. You made the man laugh. I don't understand it. I come from a long line of good-for-nothings, my mother and father both, and their parents both before them. I've signed my papers, I've joined the union. What can I tell you? You made the man laugh. Maybe it wasn't my doing. And there's no sense in trying to rationalize it. I've seen it happen before. I mean, News of his laughing will get around. It's no use. If we pass the hat after he laughed, then we Don't worry about that. I know a girl in town who will feed us. Well, I'm not good for nothing anymore. Look, it happens. Happened to your parents, otherwise they wouldn't have had you. Now would they have? What will I do with the rest of my life? Got a nice pair of legs. You could be a dancer. You're good with numbers. You can be a accountant, banker, loan shark. Me, high finance. You think? You got to do something with your life. But I'm a good for nothing. Not no more, you're not. Now you'll make something of yourself. I'll make something of myself. Yeah. Why not? No war. No war. No, no war. war. No 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 war. Hey, 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 this is not a play. <laughs> no, no war. War. No, no, war. War. No, no war. war! No 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 war
I've been looking my whole life. That's my lot, I guess. To look and look and never... No. It can't be. Oh, here comes the message. Good God, here comes the message. Here comes the message. Here comes the message. The message. The message. Where's he using? A man heading this way in our general direction. Here comes the message. Here comes the message. The message. Let me pass. Let me pass. Hold on, man. You're the message. We've been waiting very patiently. Through thick and through thin. I'm not the message. I'm the messenger. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm on official business. Good scouts don't grow on trees now. <laughs> good? Who says you're good? I, for one, says you're no good. Who seconds me? I! This life of mine, this dance done killed me then. Will you stomp and shake a leg for me? <laughs> On my brave, brave, brave. So we'll all say, you're sad, and I'm good and gone. Sad you alone, I'm left to paper our living shames. When I'm dead and buried in my grave. When I'm dead and buried in my grave, will you take all the clothes I used to wear and burn them in the heap? You dug my hole way too deep. You don't live in the same house you used to. You're with that, that somebody new, with the yellow dog and the yellow car. Make it hot. <laughs> Hoochie coo. No war. 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 Hey, wake up, people. Wake up. This is not a play. And besides, it's the same play you wrote yesterday. No war. 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 No war! No, no war. war! No war! No war! No war! No war! No war! No A taxi driver was the first casualty of the war. A taxi driver told me that. We were stuck in traffic, going up 6th Avenue. We were passing the library at first, in silence. Then he told me about the taxi driver. And I wondered, not out loud, but in the headspace of my own head, what would it be like to be working, or on the way to work, or on the way to a meeting, or on the phone? And then the war comes, and nothing comes after it. Here's a selection. Learn when to say no. Learn when to say yes. Show up. Learn when to show up, but know when to go. Roll with the punches. Exercise. Vote. 
celebrate your birthdays! Show up. Work with what you got. As painted by Hook Sai himself, I am big and wet and misunderstood. Scholars say in the original painting that the frightening tentacles of the wave put the world in peril. But as I look at the painting and I see myself, I see myself only waving. I'm only saying hello and goodbye. Take it from me, the great wave herself, no matter what the scholars say. Also, to my mind, the painting is not about the wave at all. It's about Mount Fuji's ability to remain calm and immobile in the background. Especially with the chaos of the world in its face. Wavers! Smile. And keep waving. This is that, and uh, well, that's all there is. <laughs>